All right, what up? I'm gonna go over upgrading the display on the 950 to the Nortec VFD display, which looks kind of cool. Um, you know, if your display either dims out or dies, if it just dies flat out, it's probably the inverter. If it dims out, it's the foil and the regular backlight. So a good solution is to have a VFD display. So to get started, just pull the whole 950 apart, take the ears off, the buttons, then the cover, then the face, and you're left with what I'm looking at right now. Now the issue with the VFD display that I have at least, I'll put some still pictures of this because it's probably gonna be hard to catch in the video, but here's, here's some uh, part numbers and information so you get the same display. I'll see if I can find some links too. But uh, yeah, so the problem is, like I said, I'll show some more pictures there's a connector that's right here, CN1. So when you put this display in, normally it would sit in front like this. But this display is a lot thicker than the regular display. So you have to put it behind those tabs and put the screws in backwards. Um, and the problem is you see this metal on the side here. It reaches this part and shorts the 950 out. And the F2 fuse blows and you're like, oh fuck, what happened to my 950? So. I'm gonna put this together, make sure everything works, show you what it looks like, go over, thing, go over everything again, and hopefully this will help. All right, so this is the 950 with the VFD display booting up. Um, yeah, like I said, you can see that it's backwards. The screws are flipped the other way too, aside from it being behind those tabs. So it's kind of annoying to put them in. The third one at the bottom there is real hard. Uh, you could do it, I think I'm just gonna leave it out because if I have to mess with this again, it's just a pain and it seems to be held in fine with the two of them. So um, I'm gonna put the, the face back on the on the 950, make sure everything's all right, um, because I actually did get this far before and it shorted out again. Um, I added more electrical tape to hopefully uh, stop that and I put a little piece of plastic there too. Um, so. Yeah, like I said, I fucked up, and when I desoldered that CN1 connector, one of the legs, I broke off. So I think that was rubbing through the electrical tape. So be careful when you desolder that connector, you know, do a do a thorough job, or either that or do a thorough job of covering up any connection that may come between the metal on this tab right here and the connector. So let me put it back together. I don't know if I'm going to put the whole 950 back together because... I want to replace the floppy too, but um, I might just for the sake of my own sanity and then mess with the floppy another day. So let me uh, hit you up when I get this back together. All right, so I got the 950 all put back together. Um, we're going to check it out. Looks like everything works. It's kind of blurrier in the camera than it is in real life. In real life, there's no blur, but I think it just comes from the intense glow of the display. No disc in the thing. Yeah, we got you. You got to put a disc in there to make it read that menu. Pow. So that's it. Akai S950 Noritake VFD display installed. Yeah.